Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes. Yes, girl. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm ready to be number one. Watch out, Miss Ali. I'm coming for you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hi. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Okay. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, wait. Hi, everyone. Hi, gorgeous. Hello, my loves. What is my channel about? Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapana Shimange and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it as advice, use it, don't use it, do what you will with it. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, everyone, and I mean everyone, has a YouTube channel. Everybody and their mother has a YouTube channel. Everyone, literally. I'm just like on YouTube and I'm just like, she also has a YouTube channel too. I'm just like, who does not have a YouTube channel? But you also want one, don't you? You also want to be on YouTube. You feel as though you have something to share on YouTube and you want to start a YouTube channel, but you're just like, but everybody's doing it. And you're scared you're going to get lost in the noise of what's happening. Since everybody has a YouTube channel, you're going to create one and you're just going to get lo lost in the noise. No one's going to see you and no one's going to really care. And then you're going to feel as though you have done nothing significant. You're going to feel like you're failing and you're just going to feel like, ah, embarrassed maybe. You know, maybe you're a professional and you're just like, I do not want my peers to judge me. I don't want other people to judge me and be like, oh, so on YouTube as well. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, I know a whole lot of YouTubers. I know all different types of YouTubers. I know lawyers, accountants, doctors. I know beauty, beauticians, gurus, fashionistas, every single type of YouTuber that there is, I know of. And I also know people who have YouTube channels and have been able to get huge, massive, six-figure deals from brands, from videos where they only had 200 views. We all have, so many of us have this very limited perspective or idea of what YouTube is and what it can do for us, as well as what YouTube success actually means. So today, I'm going to give you my top five reasons why you should start a YouTube channel. And some few things that you may want to consider before you do. These aren't going to be your regular regular tips. Ah. This isn't going to be, oh, it's a creative outlet. It's nice to be on YouTube. You'll learn. No, no, no. If you want those tips, you can go watch everybody else. I'm going to give you some other top five reasons why you should start a YouTube channel. So you want to stick around because I always save the best for last. Now, if you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram at Kupanashimange and look for this picture right here. Reply and let me know what questions you want to ask me or let me know what you want me to talk about in our next video. And on YouTube, you can also look for my post where I have the same picture and let me know what you want me to chat about in our next video. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into those top five reasons, all those exclusive reasons why you should start a YouTube channel today. Number one, YouTube is a huge career boost. Now, yes, YouTube can be a career all on its own. You can be a professional YouTuber. What do you wake up and do every single morning? I record, I put on YouTube, boom, I'm famous, I'm rich, my life is great. But that's not the only thing that YouTube can do for you. It's a huge career boost for professionals as well. I've seen this happen for many ladies of the club. If you do not know, I am the founder of Club She Is, where we actually have a community of women who are building their personal brands as well as their businesses. So in the club and outside of the club, as well as the people that I know, I've seen YouTube be a huge career boost for professionals. People who are in tech, people who are in agriculture, people who are in finance have created YouTube channels to introduce themselves as people within the industry and they want to become big players within the industry. They've used it to grow a reputation as well as to actually gain the credibility of somebody who actually knows what they're talking about in their field. So if you're thinking that, okay, fine, I really
really love the industry that I'm in and I'm looking to boost my career, my reputation and build my network, then maybe starting a YouTube channel about the topic or the industry that you're in may be the thing that will actually get you the recognition that you need, whether it is in fashion, beauty, agriculture, tech, finance, it could be in any field. I've seen doctors do the same thing and it's really given their careers a boost in a whole new direction. Number two is that it's a hobby that pays. Yes, there is money to this whole industry. Yes, it is a creative outlet for you. It's a place for you to express your creativity and what you're thinking. It's a good place for you to find people that you can relate to, but it is also a hobby that actually pays and can become a full-time job. Now, there are layers to this YouTube money game, and many of us only know two, which is the first, which is YouTube AdSense. Yes, YouTube does play adverts at the beginning and during videos, and YouTubers get a portion of the money that YouTube gets for those videos and gives them some money so it's almost like our salary for putting up videos okay so the more views you get the more money you make from adsense the second layer is sponsored content when brands come to you and say hey do you want to speak about this product we'll pay you a certain amount of money to do so but there's also you going to the brands and saying do you want to sponsor my video so those are two layers that people usually know the most about but there's another layer to this as well which is private placement so putting ads yourself that you create and putting them into a video. So I could cut right here and put in an ad that I created for a brand and then snap back, that is private placement. Then there's also money that I'm making as a result of my YouTube channel. So I could actually be selling my products through my YouTube channel, which has happened and works really well for a lot of people. So using YouTube videos to sell products that they have, a lot of people do merchandising. So if you want to think of people who do merchandising on a very big scale and people who've done it before, you can think of Zoella. Zoella turned her whole YouTube channel into a way to merchandise. So everything she had from interior de decorating point of view, she then created products that were related to her brand and to her YouTube channel and sold those and it became a multi-million pound business okay it was huge millions every single year and not just normal you know european money it was a lot <laughs> so youtube money comes in different shapes and different forms so i know a whole lot of people who actually use that to sell their books to sell merchandise and to sell products that they actually create you can actually have youtube membership so special videos that you create for people who are willing to pay a monthly fee to look at specific videos so i could have behind the scenes content that i save for only my members who pay a premium to watch my videos so there are different ways to earning income on youtube and through youtube and using that platform to then make money from it people who have been able to make huge deals from it use their youtube videos to prove that they know what they're talking about so i'm talking about people who are professional so doctors lawyers accountants people in agriculture engineering tech they create videos about the topics that they speak about and they use those as their portfolio or as leverage to get other brand deals outside of YouTube. And that happens a lot. So people aren't sponsoring their videos, they are actually paying them to speak about the same thing they're speaking about from the YouTube videos, just to say it live for other people in front of them. So using those as trainings. Wouldn't you love to do that, right? Let's just say you're a beauty guru and you're doing tutorials and somebody sees your tutorials and says, can you come do that live for the people in front of me? or you pitching to companies to do that. I've seen people who are in different industries who are, like I said, the lawyers and the accountants and the doctors speaking about a topic on YouTube, getting very little views, but connecting with the right people and getting paid to speak about that very same topic in front of companies, in front of businesses, in front of conferences, to be panelists. So this money game goes way further than just sponsored content and AdSense. You can use the YouTube videos that you have, as well as the information that you're sharing to get money outside of YouTube. So don't be fooled by the amount of subscribers a person has, because they're still making that money, honey, outside of the YouTube channel that you are seeing. Number three, every video is an asset. If you were to create a YouTube channel and to realize that every single time you put up a YouTube video, you are creating a brand new asset for yourself that could push your career forward. You need to use your videos. So 
a lot of people who know this they create a video knowing that this forms part of my portfolio so they want to show people as much range as they possibly can show them so they're there they're just like okay fine have i spoken about this topic have i shown them that i can do this can i do that can i do that so it's not just about sitting and pouting in front of the camera oh. mm. <sighs> okay There is so much more to it. You can show the full range of your techniques, the full range of what you are able to do with your hair, with your makeup, with your, with your voice, with what you know, with what you're sharing with people. A lot of filmmakers do the same thing. So there are people who are filmmakers who create YouTube videos and they vlog and that is shown as their portfolio, their showreel. And when they go to people to pitch new jobs and to look for work outside of YouTube, they use their YouTube channel as their portfolio so whatever industry you're in if you're looking to actually put yourself ahead look at YouTube as your portfolio to show people what you are capable of this also works for sponsored content as well so don't just think about the views and think about the subscribers think about how can this video be an asset to me to grow my career outside of YouTube because here's the thing if you grow your career outside of YouTube, that career helps you to grow on YouTube. So they work together. The more your YouTube grows, the more your career outside of YouTube grows. And the more your career outside of YouTube grows, the more your YouTube grows. So they work together. So using that to know that in and out of YouTube, my videos are an asset that I can actually use to grow my career and go much further than what people think you can. Number four is that it's an excuse to grow your network. So you may be thinking to yourself, oh, there's so many people that I want to talk to, people that I want to become friends with, people that I want to have in my network. If you want to bring something to the table, to grow a relationship with people that you genuinely do not know, then YouTube is a good something. I'll give you an excuse. So I did a YouTube summit about ooh, three years ago, and I used that as an excuse to connect to YouTubers that I looked up to. So huge YouTubers with over 100,000 subscribers from all over South Africa and outside of South Africa, I contacted them and said, hey, I want to do an interview with you on my YouTube channel. And guess what? Majority of the people said yes. Yes, there were some people who said no, but there were quite a lot of people who said yes. Until today, those people know exactly who I am and I can contact them and they know who they are talking to. And that's, I, that's what I use to grow my network. So if you're thinking to yourself, you're in whatever industry you're in, it doesn't matter. And you're thinking to yourself, I want to grow my network. I want to get to know people and I want them to know me too. Then having a YouTube channel is a really good excuse to connect with people. Saying, hey, I have a YouTube channel. I'd really like to interview you for it. And some, you know what? People don't actually care how many followers you have. Because I had, I think I had like less than a thousand. And people still said yes. So you can do the same too. Doesn't matter how many followers you have. It's not about how many people watch. It's about who watches. So go out there and think to yourself, let me create a list of people that I really want to connect with. And let me use this YouTube channel as an excuse to actually grow my network. So people you look up to, people that you aspire to meet, people that you're just like, I really want to grow my network with these people. So you're a young girl, you are studying to become a lawyer and you're thinking to yourself, I really want to connect with certain lawyers in my industry. Use your YouTube channel as an excuse to connect with those people. I promise you, it is a really good way. If you are a student who wants to get into a certain career and you don't know anyone in the career, use your YouTube channel as an excuse. If you're in beauty, if you're in hair, if you're in fashion, whatever it is, use it as an excuse to connect with other people in your network and to grow your reputation. It works, girl. It works. It works girl I promise you the fifth and final reason why you should start a YouTube channel according to me is that it makes you a better person it really does I'm not kidding around it literally makes you a better human being starting a YouTube channel isn't easy being consistent isn't easy actually starting a YouTube channel is very easy it's the easiest thing to do loading your first video easy 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 being consistent is the part that isn't easy and if you get that right you grow so much as an individual. Your confidence will grow. I can tell you right now, I can get very shy, but because of my YouTube channel and the fact that I can express myself here all alone in my studio for all of you to see, I can completely act like an idiot and 
it makes me more confident because that means that I grow in this habit of being more open. So when I'm around other people, I become more confident as well. So if you're dealing with confidence, if you're thinking to yourself, I want to grow more discipline, if you're thinking to yourself, I want to grow my work ethic and become better at doing my work, then maybe the YouTube channel is a thing for you to do. There's so much to benefit. I mean, there's so much more to gain from starting a YouTube channel than there is for you to lose. We always think to ourselves, oh my gosh, I'm going to get judged. What are people going to think of me? Oh, I'm a professional. I cannot do that. Or that my friends are going to laugh at me because I want to become a beauty guru. Oh no. Listen, you have more to gain from starting a YouTube channel than you have to lose from it. People will admire you for taking that first step. And not only that, you will learn so much and uncover so many amazing things about yourself. And that's only going to happen if you stick with it. Try to get to your first 50 videos and see how much your life will just turn around. Many people start a YouTube channel and they don't even go past the first 10 videos and they say, ah, it didn't work, I failed. That's not enough time. Give it time. Be consistent, put your all into it. And I promise you, give it 90 days of giving it your all and you will see your life completely turn around. We can always think of a million reasons why we should not do something, but there are a million and one reasons why you should do something. Let me tell you something. We are only starting to scrape the surface of this YouTube world and what it can do for us. You could be that one person who takes that number one spot, the first beauty guru to get to a million subscribers, the first YouTuber and vlogger, mommy vlogger, to get to a level that nobody else has gotten to before. That number one spot is there for you to take. All the successful YouTubers that you see are ordinary people who just decided that I'm going to take the leap and I'm going to do this. Every single YouTube video is an asset and you could use it to change your life. No matter how many subscribers you have and how, no matter how many viewers you have, that does not stop you. That is not the only way that you can make a success out of YouTube. So use what you have use your passion your knowledge and use your phone for goodness sake you do not need all this equipment to make things happen for you start with what you have use it don't expect the worst thing that people do is that you start a youtube channel and you expect the money to come to you and the people to come to you ah, it doesn't work that way but it is a career changer. It is an opportunity opener. It opens the doors for you, but only if you use it. So those are my reasons why you should start a YouTube channel. I hope that it helps you out. It's Boss Moves Monday. So let me know, do you want to start a YouTube channel? Have you been motivated to start one? If so, let me know what type of YouTube channel you want to start. That's it for today. That's all I have for you. I know I came for you just a little bit, but it is fine. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to make you do those boss moves and make that money, honey. I want us to all go to Cancun together. If you don't know where Cancun is, Google. Google is your friend. All right. <laughs> That's it for how I do things today. I'm Kapana Shmange. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Hey gorgeous, I have a little secret for you. If you did not know, I am the founder of Club She Is, a place where I help women to start their own personal brands and their businesses. And if you're one of those people who want to do that, then head over to my website, gopanashimanget.com. You'll find all the details that you need to know about the influencer blueprint as well as Club She Is, the space where I help women to start their brands and also to start those YouTube channels or podcasts, the blogs that they want to start. If you're one of those women, then definitely become part of the Club She Is premium member. All the details are there on my website. Head over and check it out today.